Alright guys, it's Betty2495 and welcome back to another unboxing video on my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the unboxing of the Avamedia Live Gamer HD capturing device. Now, as with the uh, other like unboxing videos on my channel, the format of this is no different. This is going to be a series of, of like the Avamedia Live Gamer HD review. Uh, this is the unboxing episode. This, I think the next episode I'll probably do the installation of the actual card itself. And then other like future episodes you can expect in this series can be... Like say for instance tutorials on how to live stream because it's got live streaming capabilities other things with regards to recording preferences for settings and things and then it'll all boil down to a finalised video which will be like a summary of the actual review itself um, for me I, I, I I don't think like five to ten minute single videos on like devices, whether it's this Elgato monitors and you know GPUs, things like. That. I don't think you you can truly justify like what it is that you want to get across in in an actual single video itself. So I'd rather span it out amongst a, a few videos. So hopefully you guys prefer this sort of setup because some of you might be interested in just the actual installation, others just in the live streaming. And rather than just sieving through like say one video of, of five to ten minutes or even longer, I've decided to break them down. So hopefully you guys will. Uh, will prefer this this actual format and if you're wondering just just as a side note as well if you're wondering where the actual um uh, episodes are to previous videos of, of unboxing and reviews like say for instance Elgato and my actual Asus monitor I know a few of you guys have been asking just bear with me because the production value of these videos it, they take more time to actually do and record and then you know research over so just bear with me guys if you're not I haven't noticed already I've not been uploading much recently I've been really busy hence the lack of upload so just just bear with me guys I'm, I'm trying my best to get as much content out as I can and I mean just a side note I know a bit of a spoiler alert but this card is it's a beast it is an absolute absolute beast. I've not seen a bad review of this thing. I really haven't. I've been using it a bit um, and seriously guys just this thing if you are interested in PC recording because that's the primary reason that I bought this is for the PC recording capabilities. You can record other platforms like console but in terms of just PC recording it is amazing. It really is. I've got other software. There are other software on the market as you guys are probably well aware now. Fraps, DxTory. I actually have DxTory. I prefer that over Fraps but the downside to using software like that over hardware such as this card is it's the compression rate of the files. The file sizes are massive using software such as Fraps. I mean just to give you guys a brief little example, like a benchmark example, um, like one minute of, of capturing in Fraps AVI, it, it equates to like 4.7 gigs, whereas in contrast, in stark contrast in fact, capturing at H.264, 20 minute worth of 1080p gameplay using the Avamedia capturing device equates to a 2.3 gigahertz file size. I mean, that is astonishing. It really is. That's the biggest pro to this card itself, and that alone justifies the £150 that I paid for, off Amazon for this card. I've got the intention of bringing some PC gameplay to my channel and this is just if you're interested in that sort of thing you know PC gaming it's a must I mean I've been highly recommended through a few friends of mine and now that I've actually bought the product I'm, I'm super stoked and I'm super excited to bring you guys this uh, this like in-depth review over a period of say three or four maybe even five videos so hopefully you guys will enjoy that so in terms of the actual unboxing itself I'm, I'm rambling on apologies I'll talk about a few things the features specifications uh, obviously I'll talk about what's actually in the, in the package itself I, I suppose I should have done that first but you know me I ramble on for too long and I'll probably end on a Q&A questions which I've, I've pinched off the website which is some of the, the you know the main ones the important ones that I've cherry picked which I think you guys will be interested in you know you know finding out if you're interested in buying the product itself which again I can't stress enough how much I recommend this product I really can't so without further delay I've been going on for far too long now guys apologies without further delay I'll get right into it so so in terms of the actual package itself, what it includes, so yeah, it includes the Live Gamer HD capturing card, as you've seen by now on the video in the background. If you're interested, the weight of which is 102.5 grams, just thought I'd point that out. Some people might be interested in that sort of thing. You never know. You never know. Uh, obviously, it comes with the installation CD, as you just saw there. Um, obviously, go on the actual website itself, download the most up-to-date drivers. Everyone always recommends that. I recommend that as well. It also includes the quick installation guide. It contains a hot button, which I'll talk about very briefly shortly, a DVI to HDMI adapter, a HDMI cable, HDMI to DVI cable as well, a 3.5mm audio cable, and a three-month XSplit premium license, which is what I was just faffing around with before. I'm already a premium member with XSplit. Uh, I'm thinking of giving that away. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you want me to give that three-month XSplit premium license away? I probably will do, because I don't have any need for that, to be honest. 
Now, I could speak about this RE Central, the software that comes with the actual uh, capturing device itself, but rather than me doing that in this unboxing video, I think uh, to keep it as short as possible, because I'm well aware I'm, I'm vastly approaching the end of the video in terms of the recorded footage that I had on the day, so rather than me doing that, I think I'll leave that for a standalone video itself, for like an episode in and of itself for the series. So, um, so yeah, I'll not talk about that actually in this video. Um, I think I'll move on to the specification of the card. So the input signal is HDMI or DVI with 3.5mm audio, and the output signal is equally HDMI or DVI with a 3.5mm audio. Uh, moving on to the system requirements, so the system requirements in terms of the CPU, a minimum of an Intel Core 2 Dual 2.4GHz, and if you're an AMD sort of person then fear not, because it caters for you as well, AMD Athlon 64X2 Dual Core 2.8GHz. Um, also with that guys is a VGA card with support for DirectX 9.0 C or above is required, and it's important to note that a standalone graphics card is recommended for HD video capturing. In terms of the RAM, 512MB of RAM also, yeah, this is a given guys, PCI Express slot is required, make sure your motherboard has that, uh, sound card is required, and as far as the operating system is concerned, uh, Windows 8 or 7, both 32 and 64 bits are compatible. So that's pretty much the specification of system requirements covered. Uh, I think I'll move on to some of the features and then when I've covered some of the key features of the card itself I'll finish with the frequent asked questions. So in terms of the features ladies and gentlemen, as I've already stressed okay, this, this H.264 hardware compression, the fact that file sizes are much smaller using this card in comparison to say for instance software such as the FRAP, such as the DX Tory, I can't stress how important and how useful and beneficial this is for someone of a PC wanting to record PC content, particularly for example say take, I don't know, let's play guys, let's play guys, record my such long stints at, at a time if you've got low memory which I highly wouldn't advise anyway I'd highly suggest to get in like an external hard drive for this or make sure you've got at least a decent a decent amount of memory if you're considering doing PC recordings or any recording for that matter not just PC but you know it's just it's that, that ease of mind to know that what you are recording isn't going to take up a lot of uh, a lot of memory and on top of that is this this extra feature, which when combined with the first this this uh, this file size compression, it just makes this caption device fantastic. And that is the fact that this Live Gamer HD capture device by Avermedia, it's got super low CPU consumption. Now this is so important because when you're playing games which require a lot of CPU consumption, such as for instance, I don't know, the Crisis, Battlefield 3, these sort of games that that take a lot of a lot of strain on your PC. The last thing you want is to be hindered in, say, for instance, FPS rate and performance power that you are seeing whilst playing the game by having something running in the background, whether it's, I don't know, the software such as Fraps or whether it's another form of hardware that you can buy which captures the gameplay. But with the Ava Media Live Game HD, that's not a concern that you need to be completely worried about. And so these two features are just a match made in heaven. They really are. It's such bliss having this, not needing to worry about it. Um, that's what more can you want in an actual caption device, really. And all honesty, what more can you want when you want to record PC gameplay? The file sizes are much shorter, and there's less uh, less like strain in terms of system resources when it comes to your CPU consumption. I mean, fantastic, fantastic. And another feature of this actual game capturing device is the fact that it's graphics card resolution support. It covers a lot of different resolution guys rather than me actually covering every single one in detail I'll just leave a link to the description to the website I might even put some screenshots up at the end of the video because I guarantee I'll go over annoying me but the main ones that everyone needs to um well, the main ones that you'll probably be interested in are the 1280 by 720p at um, 60 fps in terms of the input video, and that can be recorded at 1280 by 720p 60 fps as well. And also the 1920 by 1080. The input video for that, by the way, guys, is 60 fps, and it's important to make a distinction here. The recorded video output of this is 1920 by 1080 30 fps. Now, this is something I need to stress. It's very important. The video input supports up to 1920 by 1080 at 60 fps, while the maximum recording quality is 1080p at 30 fps now it's it's important to make that distinction because in some way i thought that the the way that I, well at least on the box it it says that it captures 1080p at 60 hd gameplay it doesn't specify what the 60 represents whether it's i don't know hertz fps it doesn't specify but in the small print it specifically says that the maximum recording quality the actual end product recording quality is only 1080p at 30 fps so i think it's important to make that distinction Though the input is 60 FPS, the actual output won't be 60 FPS, it'll be 30 FPS at 1080p. But again, if it's 1280 by 720 which you never know, you might want to do that, I might. I'm undecided what I'm going to be recording at. But, uh, you know, with that, that will be both 60 and 60 FPS. So I just thought that's important to actually highlight though, because they're not pulling the wool over my eyes when it comes to that. Okay, I just thought I'd point that out in the small print. And while we're actually on uh, the resolution topic... 
Uh, it does say that certain recordings can be downscaled uh, on demand, so that, again, the resolution can be downscaled. All of this can be found in the description below. I'll not touch upon this. Um, one thing I will point out, though, is that the Live Game HD does not work for 1920 by 1200 monitors, and the actual capturing video content with HDCP, which is the high bandwidth digital content protection, is not supported. So I just thought I'd point that out. So again, if you're interested in the resolutions, check the link in the description below. It's too time consuming for me to cover it in this actual video itself, so apologies for that. Back to the actual feature list. So there's a dedicated a record button included. This thing, you'll have seen in the background, it's quite cool. It's a USB uh, device, it, it glows, you press it. It's, it's handy, I suppose it's incorporated because as they say there's no more hotkey conflict. Is it needed? It's not necessary, it's more like an accessory. It's a cool thing, it's better that it's there, you know, but if it, if it wasn't there and I didn't know then it's not something I would miss put it that way it really isn't so that's included as well guys and also the live game hd enables you to record commentary with the gameplay that's something i'll touch upon in the q a because it's something someone actually asks and there is direct connection to twitch tv stream, and i believe it's called nikoniko but again twitch is the you know the usual one that people use when uh, live streaming too and there is a snapshot feature which is pretty handy to have so with all that being said, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover aside from the frequently asked questions, which I'll finalise the video on. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, I think that's it. So obviously we're near the end of the video now, guys. I'm gonna just gonna I'm just gonna cover some of the frequent asked questions. There's a few categories, namely capture, connectivity, video, audio, streaming, and others. There's a few questions and answers that I'll just cover to uh, to basically bring the you know draw the video to an end right now, so ladies and gents. So if you enjoyed the video, then please let me know in the comment section below. Again, the production value of these videos is much higher than the regular sort of gameplay commentary so hopefully you can appreciate that and uh yeah let's uh, let's get things cracking so in terms of the actual capturing one of the questions that was asked is can video be recorded in 3d with say for instance 120 hertz display now this would actually uh, appeal to me because if you guys remember my asus monitor that's a 3d 120 hertz display and to answer that question live game hd capture card does not support 3d video recording another question that was asked was why capture from ps3 content is blocked in re central and to answer that question, the PS3 content is HDCP protected. If Live Gamer HD detects such content, the capture function will be automatically disabled in RE Central. And to finalise in this category of capture, the last question is, in what format can I record my in-game footages? And I've stressed this so many times, I must be going on like a broken record. Live Gamer HD records by H.264 hardware encoder. So that's the capture questions covered. Moving on to connectivity. One of the questions that was asked is, what devices can I connect to Live Gamer HD? Live Gamer HD via the HDMI DVI input can receive signal from various devices such as game consoles eg ps3 xbox 360 the pc through vga and also the ipad yeah the ipad's even getting a, a look in there and the next question here is can i record and play a game on the same pc the live game hd supports video audio pass through function this allows you to record and play games simultaneously at the same platform the next category which i've got here is the video and audio one of the questions that was asked is can audio be recorded in dolby 5.1 to answer that question, the Live Gamer HD capture card does not support recording audio in Dolby 5.1. Dolby 5.1, of course, being, I assume, Dolby 5.1 surround sound. Don't quote me on that one, but that's one of the reasons why I decided to pick that out. And the next question in this category is, can the Live Gamer HD capture card output 1080 at 60 FPS video? I assume it means 60 FPS. Again, it just says 60. This is where it's a bit obscure. And again, the reason I pointed this out because I want this to be you know, drilled into people's minds because this is very important. The Live Gamer HD capture card can receive 1080 1080p at 60, again I assume 60 FPS, input but does not support 1080p at 60 output. If the input resolution is 1080p at 60, the resolution of the file recorded by Live Gamer HD will be 1080p at 30. Now that's very important to stress, again, very important and somewhat deceiving I must say, somewhat deceiving, but you need to read the small print, let's be honest. Uh, the last two ones now, streaming and others. So streaming, there's one question here. What applications can I use to stream video with a live game in HD? Besides the official application, which is the RE Central, again, expect a video on that very shortly. The live game in HD is also compatible with XSplit. Again, I would probably advise people to use XSplit over anything else. And lastly, on others, can I record my voice commentary with the game footage simultaneously? To answer this question, guys, by connecting your headset to the 3.3mm audio input on live game in HD, you can record your gameplay and voice commentary at the same time. RE Central, which is the bundle software, allows you to record external audio software to a separate file providing you the chance for further editing and just a side note on this very shortly guys i know i'm going way over on the video but i did try this uh, the other day it saves i believe as an mp3 file and it's just very clean How, uh, the, the whole the whole software itself is a very clean and uh, easy to navigate software but again expect to see a video on that shortly so 
I think that's everything I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I, I did I did well with the unboxing video. Hopefully I covered everything that it is that you had your initial thoughts on. If there are other questions which you might have with regards to the actual product, stay tuned because no doubt I'll cover them, or at least you know that's the intention. I'll, I'll cover them in uh, you know future episodes, episodes in, or installments of this series. So stay tuned for more. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching the video. You've been a wonderful audience, as you always are. Take care, all the best, and peace.